Hey everyone, my name is Sebastian, and I'm the co-VP of Engineering and Cardano PM at Emergo, one of the companies behind the Cardano project and the company behind the Yoroi wallet. So in this video, I want to answer some questions we've been getting about the Ledger integration we released yesterday on the Yoroi extension. So let me do a quick FAQ. We've been having four questions come up fairly often, and I'm going to go through them one by one and explain to them what they mean and how to solve them. So although one is an important question, it's a bit, um, longer of an explanation. So I'm going to start with two, go down to four, and then I'll go back up to one and explain that. Okay. So first let's do number two, need Cardano app 2.0.4. So if you're affected by this issue, let me show you what it looks like. So this is a debug version of Yoroi that allows us to see, um, what the entire app looks like without actually having to open it. As you can see, I can just flip through all the different UIs inside Yoroi. And uh, we use this for translation and testing the UI and working with a designer. So you can see if I select the incorrect version, uh, you'll see this is what the error will look like for to you as a user. So you'll see incorrect device version. We support 2.0.4, but you have 2.0.3. So to get 2.0.4, you have to open up Ledger Live and install the latest Ledger firmware first. Once you've installed the latest, uh, latest firmware, then you'll be able to upgrade to 2.0.4 and then this issue will be solved. So next issue is number three, stuck on the connect page. So if you're stuck on the connect page, let me show you what that looks like. It'll look something like this. So you'll be on the connect page and I'll say something unexpected happened. Please retry. So if you get this error, almost surely this is because you have two copies of Yudo installed on the same browser. And this issue happens because they both try and connect to your Ledger device and interfere with each other. So notably, this happens to users that have Yoroi Nightly installed because you'll have Yoroi Nightly installed and the Yoroi extension, the main Yoroi extension on the same browser and they'll interfere with Ledger connection. We're looking into how to fix this and hopefully we'll have a fix um, sooner than later. But the easiest way to fix it is to either uninstall Yoroi Nightly or Chrome has a feature that allows you to have multiple Chrome profiles. So let me show you what that looks like. So you can see up here, I have an icon. And if I click on it, you can see I've created many different Chrome profiles for myself. And each Chrome profile has a different set of browser um, extensions. So um, you can easily create one Chrome profile for Euro Nightly and one Chrome profile for the main extension so they don't um, play with each other or you can uninstall one. So that, that will solve issue number three for you. Issue number four is air claiming rewards. So let me show you what that looks like. So if I open up Yodoi and I go to the um, claim transfer page and you see I have my um, Yodoi Shelly wallet selected, I'll get an error. This action is not support for current select, currently selected hardware. So this is because hardware wallets currently don't support claiming ITN rewards that belong to a different wallet, right? So hardware wallets support claiming your, your own rewards, but not rewards that belong to a different wallet, right? Um, so this is a limitation of hardware wallets. So you'll, you'll have to do if you have, if you still have ITN rewards, you'll need to create a new wallet, claim the ITN rewards on your new wallet, and then send the rewards to your ledger device afterwards. This is unfortunate, but um, it is the way it is. So if, if you're having this issue and you're trying to claim your ITN rewards, just claim it on different wallet first and then transfer it afterwards. So let's talk about issue number one, which is sending a, a large amount to 1852, 1815, uh, 01, and then something. So to explain this, we have to explain um, what is UTXO and Cardano. So Cardano uses something called the UTXO model, which is how we manage the amount in your, the amount of ADA you have in your account. And the good thing is that the Euro extension has a lot of information to show you exactly how this works under the hood. So let's look at my currently selected Euro Ledger wallet. If I go to the receive page, you'll see in the base tab, I have um, two pages. One is the internal and one is the external. And see every address inside these two tabs have a different balance. So in this case, I have all my ADA inside an internal address. Okay. 
So the way that the UTXO model works is that you have, it's the same thing as paying with cash. So inside your wallet, you might have, you know, a five ADA coin and then a two ADA coin and then maybe like a 3.5 ADA coin, right? So in my case, in my wallet, I had one coin of, um, at the equivalent of one physical coin of 2.339861 ADA. So when I want to send ADA to somebody, the way that it works is, imagine I want to send somebody um, six ADA. The way it will work is it'll say, okay, if you want to send somebody six ADA, you'll have to take two coins, one of five, one of two, send six, and then it'll take maybe like 0 0.17 ADA in fees, in transaction fees. And then this is seven, right? So it'll send you back um, approximately 0 0.8 ADA back to you, right? So same thing when you're paying with cash at a restaurant, you'll pay, you know, with some amount of coins and you get the change back. So the change goes back to your internal tab. That's what it means right here, internal tab. And if you look here, we have a verify address button. If you click the verify address, you'll see um, this is my address and this is the derivation path. So you see 152, 115, 0, 1, 4, right? And so this one's four, this one's two, this one's zero, right? So you can see they're all the same prefix with a different index, okay? So if you try and send somebody um, ADA with your ledger device, you may see that you're sending a large amount back to a path. So let me show you that it looks like. This is another debug website we have to use um, to debug the ledger integration. And you see if I pick a uh, sign a transaction, um, it'll look something like this. So when you see this uh, send ADA amount, um, you'll often see two, two amounts. First, you'll see the amount you're sending to somebody else, right? So first you'll see the, the six ADA you're sending to somebody else. And then after that, you'll see the um, a second send ADA that shows the two amounts back to yourself. So you'll see the 0 0.8 um, over here. I'm sure I can not see that. So you'll see the, the 0 0.8 over here. So that's what it, it means. Um, as it turns out, there's a way to avoid this from Muroi so that you only ever, you're only ever prompted for this one. Um, but we just didn't do that for the first version and, and we'll change this later on so that you, you don't see the two ADA twice. Um, but until then, just know when you see a two ADA and you see it to yourself, um, that's what it means. So let me show you exactly what it's gonna look like. Um, I think maybe this one, let me refresh. Yeah, so, you, so when you see the two ADA, you'll see a derivation path that'll look something like this and then staking key hash, which will be your, your staking key. So if you see that, um, just know that means you're sending it to yourself. You know it's yourself because there's a path. If it's not yourself, you'll see a full address. And again, if you don't tr trust Yudoi and you're like, no, like this path is probably not mine. You can go to the verify address tab. You can find the address itself and there's actually a verify and hardware wallet button. If you press it, it'll open up the real web page. Um, by the way, you have to ignore this. This is a Windows bug. You have to just ignore this prompt. So you can see it, it'll say verify address and it'll show you the path. It'll be the same path you see on your um, sending. And you'll see the staking address, which will match your device. And then you'll see the address here. And once you verify, it'll be done. And you can see on the verify page, we show the full address. We show the derivation path and we show the staking key hash. So I know this is like a view into the internals of how wallets work and not every user is comfortable with that. Um, so we'll, we'll probably release in a future version, um, an update that just doesn't show this. So we won't show the ADA to yourself. So you'll see a transaction six ADA, you'll approve and that will be it. Um, but right now we don't hide this, we show it to you. And maybe some users are uncomfortable seeing too much of, of how the sausage is made, so to speak. But anyways, that's the FAQ. If you have any questions, definitely ask us on Telegram, on Twitter, on Discord, on any platform, and I'll be sure to answer you. We also have a support desk. 
um, where we handle tickets there too.